Alright, in this video I'm going to briefly show you how to use the Regression Explorer. The Regression Explorer is a little program that works with Wackinator to help you explore how different regression algorithms work, um, and specifically how they might be different from each other and how they might be influenced by the choice of training examples. And so I'm going to load up Wackinator here, make a new project, and like you see on screen I'm going to set this up to have one input and one continuous output. So I'm going to change these two numbers, leave everything else at the defaults, and there's our project, which we can minimize. Now, when I make a new example here, um, I can click here to make a new example. I'm specifying to Wekinator that when it sees this x value, right, when it sees this horizontal position, which is 204 or so, um, I want my model to produce this y position, this vertical position, which um, is 255 or something like that. Right? And I can make a few different examples. Um, and once I'm done, I can hit train and say, build me a model of the relationship between x and y. And now, once I've trained a model, I can give it new inputs, and Wackinator will tell me hopefully a reasonable output value for each of those new inputs. So if I click here, this is I'm just going to show it x, I'm not going to show it y and it comes back with the y value it thinks is appropriate. Right? And I can keep clicking here, or I can take a shortcut and hit draw regression line. When I do this, um, the program is going to generate a whole bunch of inputs spanning all the way from left to right, and it's going to ask Wekinator to um, give us the output values for all of them. So let's do that. There you go. May or may not be what you expected. Uh, the algorithm we're using here is a neural network, and we can go back to Wekinator and look at the model type. And here you see it's a neural network with one hidden layer and uh, one hidden node in that layer. And so that's by default going to give us this sort of sloping S-shaped curve. If I wanted something different, for example, if I wanted a line, I could switch to linear regression and get a straight line. So if I apply my changes, I do need to retrain in order for that um, a new model to be built. So let me delete these test examples, train, and now there's my regression line. It's a straight line like we expected. Um, I could also change this, for instance, and ask for um, polynomial regression. And again, I need to retrain before drawing my new line. Okay, the other thing we can do here, of course, is play with our training examples. So let me add just one more point and retrain. You have to retrain after you change the data at all. And there's our regression line. So quite a change from when we only had three examples. But that's pretty much it.